All right, today I'm going to be hacking a Sony DSC S600 um, for use as a trail camera. And I know there are several videos and PDF files out there um, concerning the hack on this particular camera, but none of them have um, all of the information in one video or PDF that. Uh, I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to be hacking this one by removing the lens cover doors um, so we eliminate the problem of the door sticking um, over the lens and um, I'm also going to be uh, doing the externals on it um, so hopefully this will uh, kind of gather all the information in one um, video that will give you the information that you need. Now I'm going to be also doing this one that's fast hack, um, but um, and I'll show you how you can uh, do just a um, regular hack on it if you wanted to. So first thing we're going to do is, of course, you need to remove your batteries if you haven't already. Um, but open your battery door, and there's one screw up here in this top left that we need to take out. Like I said, and I realize that a lot of you are already going to know most of this stuff, but I just want to kind of get all of this information in one place um, so that it's easier for people to find, especially new guys that may be coming into the uh, camera trap hobby. There's a screw here on the bottom that we need to remove, uh, one next to the tripod mount. So one here on the uh, left by the USB port. Open that little plastic cover and there's one screw right there we need to take out. All of these screws are the same length around the perimeter of this camera so you don't have to really worry about keeping those in order. Alright, and one other thing that you need to do is on your slide switch up top here, just slide it all the way over to the left, usually the way I do it, and that way you don't run a risk of breaking off that switch whenever you go put your camera back together. Now to get the camera apart, just uh, open your battery door a little bit, and then you can start uh, taking the back off. You may also want to kind of pop out on this side the uh, trim piece that goes around the camera and see if I can actually get that to come out. there and that'll help uh, loosen stuff up so you can get your covers apart and then just uh, slide your back cover off and watch that LCD screen in there because it does tend to uh, fall out of place so um, go ahead and get you a piece of tape and tape that LCD down so that it uh, can't flop around because you certainly don't want to break this ribbon on here okay um, now, once you've got it to this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, you can either cut or desolder these wires, but there's a black and a red wire right here that uh, you need to disconnect, and then the three wires right here. There's a yellow, a gray, and a white, and let's go ahead and uh, just going to go ahead and desolder all of those wires before we ever start taking our front cover off. We won't need any of these wires on there anymore. Okay. Get these three over here desoldered. you have those wires loose then you can take your front cover off and if you've had your camera powered up recently 
you want to be extremely careful when you take this front off because the capacitor contacts are right here on this corner inside and if you touch those you're going to get lit up pretty good so just be aware of that carefully remove your front cover Let's see if I can get this one there we go just slide it off okay and all those wires that we desoldered will come out with that front cover okay now at this point it's a good practice to go ahead and discharge this capacitor if you have any idea that there may be some remaining voltage here and you'll see the two solder spots right on this left corner just take your discharge resistor and hold it to those two, two contacts and that one did spark some when I touched it so you want to just hold that there for you know eight to ten seconds or longer like so we just want to make sure that we get the voltage drained off of that capacitor because if you don't and you touch that it will light you up all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and test that with my multimeter set on high voltage DC just to see if there's any remaining voltage there I tell you guys I've been hit by these things a couple of times and it does not feel good and you also run a risk of damaging your camera Let's see if I can get my meter on there and it looks like I may be showing like one volt so you know that's that's probably okay all right so anyway we're going to go back to our front cover and we're going to get rid of all of this lens uh, doors and this uh, switchboard down here uh, we're going to get rid of all that the motor there's a couple of screws up top that you need to remove one on the right and one on the left those two out and then you can take that motor off get it out of the way and there's one screw down here on the bottom left that holds that tripod mount in as well as that uh, switchboard and then you take out your tripod mount get that out of the way all right now to get uh, this switchboard out there's a little plastic catch right at the bottom just uh, get under there with a screwdriver and pop that loose take that board out and then uh, there's a also a catch right here at the bottom that holds part of this uh, black housing in and there's a couple up at the top so I'm just gonna disengage all of that because we're gonna be removing all of this stuff get it out of our way and that will eliminate the problem of the lens door sticking remove the doors themselves and the springs okay so all that's out and you have to be aware too that your little lens that goes up here in the corner is going to fall out so what I normally do is I'll just uh, glue that back in place so that that doesn't get lost okay so we'll set that to the side for now all right now to do the hack on our camera we'll need to access our power and shutter board up top and there's one screw right here that we need to remove I'm going to take that out and now you can lift up on this side of the power bar and pull it to the left and that will disengage it from the right side over here and now you can rotate that over and we're going to get to our power and shutter board up here and uh, there's a clip right over next to the uh, AF illuminator lamp that you can disengage 
and take that board off from that trim okay all right now what I like to do is I just like to lay this board right on top like this and I'll get me a, a piece of tape and tape that down in place and then make it a little easier to solder on our shutter and power button wires okay so I'm just going to set that there and just tape it in place all right and the hack points that we need are going to be the uh, top left corner for the uh, power button and also the top left corner for the shutter button and I like to take a little knife and on this top left corner of the uh, power button if you look close it's got plastic over uh, this button so right on that corner just trim off that plastic just cut through it and then remove that little section that you just cut off see if I can get that okay and that just gives you a little bit cleaner spot there that you can uh, put some solder paste just put your solder paste right there on that little corner and take a little solder on your soldering iron it doesn't take a lot we just want to make us a little solder pad there and touch that to that corner and that make it easier for you to get your uh, power wire to stick we're going to do the same thing with our shutter button just a little dab of this solder paste right on that corner you don't want to bridge that to the metal housing that's sitting over the shutter button because it'll short out that switch and it won't work for you so take a little solder on our iron let's see if I can get this where you can see what I'm doing you just want to put a little solder right there on that corner let's see if I can get in close where you can see that get that to focus got a little solder pad right there on that corner but it's not bridging this metal housing up top okay so now I'm gonna take my power wire and I've already got my wires pre tinned with just a little small section of it exposed okay and lay that right up on there power button a little solder on your iron touch that and it should melt right in and you've got a good contact there for your power get my shutter wire I'm gonna do the same thing there clean my iron off a little bit get just a small amount of solder on that iron tip okay I'm gonna lay my shutter wire up here right on that location where I made that little solder pad touch that and that's soldered right in okay see if I can get that to focus for you all right so that's our power wire and our shutter wire now we can remove our tape and go ahead and put that trim piece back on there rotate it over like this and go ahead and get that board back in place and this can be a little bit tricky to do but it's usually not too bad just get it positioned where it's going to clip in okay I think I finally got it in there okay so as you can see I have my shutter wire coming back and the power wire coming back and so when we flip this back over 
those wires will be coming towards the back of the camera and just go ahead and get that power bar back in place like it goes okay and once it's back in place then you can go ahead and reinstall that screw that held that power bar on right here on the top okay so our power and shutter hack are done now I like to take these wires and just run them through right under where we put that screw in and let those come across to the left side if I can get this one to fish through for me if I'd have done them before I put that board back in place all right but anyway there's my power and shutter wires coming down and we're going to exit our wires down here where we remove that tripod mount okay now to do the uh, fast hack on the camera where we desoldered these three wires right here there was a, a white wire at the bottom and a gray wire in the middle those two places if you're not going to be doing a fast hack on your camera then you can just bridge a wire um, from where the uh, white wire and the gray wire was the bottom and the middle you can just bridge those but since i'm going to be doing a fast hack on this camera what i'm going to do is i'm going to solder a wire to both of those locations and i'm going to use the middle as my common for the camera that will operate the uh, power and the shutter and you could just use your battery negative as your common if you wanted to do that but I like uh, having my externals dedicated strictly for my externals so I've got my ground wire or my common soldered on and now I'm going to solder a wire on to the bottom position there. And this will be my wire that operates the fast hack. Okay. So as you can see, I've got a gray wire in the middle. That's going to be my power and shutter common. And then the yellow wire is my lens wire that will control the fast hack. Okay. Now for our externals on the camera, flip it around and solder a wire to this top for your battery external negative. And then this lug on the bottom is your battery external positive. And I take my wires and I just run my negative right up behind both of these lens wires and bring that up. And I'll solder that to the lug at the top for my battery external negative. Bend that wire over in position here. Okay, now I'm gonna get some solder on my iron tip. Okay, I've got my battery negative wire soldered on, and then for my battery positive, I'm going to route it this direction so that it's coming over towards our exit point. Lay that wire there. Okay, so I've got my battery external positive wire soldered on. Okay. Now I'm just going to bring both of those wires across and take a small piece of tape, tape that in place. And then that will allow me to 
exit my wires out where the tripod mount was before. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put my front cover back on, and we'll just exit. Well, I've got to glue that lens in, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll I'll just go ahead and get my camera together, and then come back and show you. All right, so I've got my camera completely back together now, and I've got my servo mounted on the bottom. I went ahead and got all that done. Um, one thing I failed to mention to you is uh, I've seen on some videos um, where they talk about putting the batteries in the camera, turning it on, and letting the lens extend, then open the battery door, and that way it leaves your lens extended when you're going to be doing the fast hack on it. Um, if you're going to be doing it the traditional way where you're leaving your lens doors on, you, of course you would need to do that, but uh, the way we did it today where you're removing the uh, lens motor and shutter doors and all that stuff, there's no need to uh, let that lens extend and to me that just makes it uh, a little more prone to if you were to happen to bump that lens around while you're working on a camera, you know, you could damage your lens so we don't uh, need to do that. And as you can see, the lens is not extended at the moment and I've got this uh, camera connected to one of my Game Watcher camera control boards and um, you just need your shutter wire into the shutter location common wire into power common power wire into power and then the fast hack wire goes into uh, terminal one on this and you don't have to have a jumper wire from uh, you know your common over to the lens wire um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this uh, control board on I've got it to program for fast hack and you'll see that the lens extends on the camera at the beginning of the program for the camera warm-up and uh, of course you can see that the camera's on and when the camera goes off after about 10 seconds then that which is off now then the, the lens stays extended because we have it operating on fast tack program uh, just going to let it go through the uh, walk test mode which takes around 30 seconds and once that completes then we'll uh, activate the camera so it will take a photo and you'll see that the lens uh, is going to have just very minimal movement to it and then it will stay out once the camera powers off alright so the walk test is just now ending so if I activate the board the camera takes a photo and uh, like I said the lens is already extended for the fast tack now um, the camera is going to stay powered up for uh, approximately 25 seconds because I have it in trail mode and the camera just powered off as you can see hopefully you can and uh, the lens has stayed extended alright so I'm going to turn this control board off now for uh, if you wanted to change the menu settings in your camera while you got it in the field um, there's a little jumper uh, connector I have right here next to the block and you would just simply pull that up turn it around to where that cap goes over both of those pins on the board and that will bridge your common to your lens and that way when you power your camera back on without the control board you don't get that error message you know to turn power off and on again and then you can go in and do whatever menu settings you need to and um, power the camera off and then you would uh, just simply take that jumper back off of both legs and just clip it over one and when you turn your control board back on then it operates it in fast hack mode alright guys so that's the uh, hack on the Sony S600 uh, where we're doing externals we're doing a fast hack we're getting rid of our lens uh, motor and shutter doors so that we don't have an issue of those uh, you know, staying closed or partially closed and causing a problem. Alright, thanks for watching.